It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, these pictures are very alarming. I have put together a short video of satellite images that were compiled by geoengineeringwatch.org. These images are shocking, undeniable proof of the ongoing global climate geoengineering assault on our planet and its life support systems. Highly toxic heavy metals and chemicals are sprayed into our atmosphere from jet aircraft as part of the geoengineering program and then manipulated with radio frequency signals. These signals are transmitted from countless locations around the globe, from various types of transmission platforms such as ionosphere heater installations like HARP, SBX radar, NEXRAD, and many more. The impact of the microwave transmissions on cloud formations is profound and highly visible. In many of these images, you can see multiple variations of radio frequency cloud impacts. The degree to which the ongoing weather warfare is disrupting Earth's atmosphere and life support system is already beyond catastrophic and happening all over the globe. Hurricane manipulation is one aspect of the climate engineering. 85% of hurricanes that impact the U.S. originate from Africa. A great deal of climate engineering takes place in this region, and you will see that in a number of these satellite images, in an attempt to mask the climate intervention activity, the cyclone suppression occurring off the coast of Africa is officially blamed on dust. Some may feel that cyclone suppression is beneficial, but such interference with Earth's natural systems has a long list of catastrophic downstream effects. Some satellite images even show that climate engineers seem to be actually steering cyclones to serve their own agenda. Hurricane Matthew may be an example of weather warfare because satellite photos show atmospheric gravity waves that may actually be powerful radio frequencies or microwave transmissions mixed with atmospheric aerosols. These transmissions have a signature pattern on high-level cloud formations that are saturated with electrically conductive heavy metal nanoparticles which are dispersed from jet aircraft as part of the ongoing climate engineering insanity. A study in 2017 by the University of California and the Carnegie Institution for Science found that the world's leading atmospheric scientists do not know the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail. The results overwhelmingly showed that the scientists do not believe that the governments of the world are covertly spraying particulates from planes and jets. The results were published in the Journal of Environmental Research Letters. If you would like to read them for yourself, go check it out. This study tells us that the atmospheric scientists are not looking up at the sky and that our job is far from over. These are the people we need to reach because their voices will be heard. Here's what we need to do. You guys need to keep looking up at the sky. Keep taking photos and videos every time you see chemtrails, when you see planes spraying. If you don't have anywhere to post them, send them to me, johnxarmy at hotmail.com. And I'll keep compiling these images together and we can try to make them go viral. I mean, just doing a quick Google search, there's about a hundred different photos of pilots taking pictures inside of aircraft that are filled with spraying systems yet they're saying this isn't happening. We need to make photos like that go viral. We need to make videos like this go viral. Keep up the fight, it's not over. We just gotta get louder. They're not hearing us about the chemtrails and the weather warfare, we need to get louder. John X Army, I'm out. John X Army, signing out from the belly of the beast.